Hello, lovely fragrance lovers. It's Healer again, H Loves Fragrance. Uh, today we're going to be testing out some samples that I got from the perfume shop. So perfume shop have got this really great service where you can order samples for one pound each. You can only order a maximum of three samples and you pay three pounds for postage and packaging and they use Hermes to send it out to you. So it does get to you pretty fast and you're getting the carded sample so you can be absolutely certain that it is the real McCoy. So I love using this service. I I think that this is my fourth set of samples now that I am getting uh, today. Now, normally when they deliver the samples, they do deliver them in an envelope, a GFA envelope. But for some reason this time around, they've come in a big box, which is a little bit silly, but this is the first time that they've done this in the four orders that I have made with them. Although having said that the boxes are really quite nice and my kids have so much fun playing with these boxes, um, you know, doing DNT stuff, making things up. Okay. Right. So this is what we have in here. Uh, so we've got a deal. I think I got Miss Dio Roses and Roses. I can't quite remember. But <laughs> got a sample of Black Opium, Yves Saint Laurent, and C. Passione Giorgio Amani. So I've been hearing a lot about this. Several of the YouTube channels that I watch, they've been talking about the C. Passione. And, oh no, this is the Black uh, Opium Odopafon Neon. So that's going to be interesting to try out. I tried the black opium. I got a sample from um, fragrancesamples.co.uk and I quite liked it. So the Dior one comes in a special Dior envelope. Very posh. Oh, oh. oh wow. They actually sent me two samples. How oh, fun. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is the sample that I actually selected. It's the Miss Dior Roses and Roses. Thought I'd try that out. I mean, for one pound for a sample, do you know how much these things cost on eBay? It's like four times as much. So I thought, yeah, I'll try it. Ooh, finally got a sample of Salvage. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to try and get my husband to try that. Um, what else is in here? Okay. Right, we've got a postcard here. That's fabulous. It's like an extra sample that I wasn't expecting. How wonderful. I do think that perfume companies, it is in their best interest to send out perfume samples to people, especially during lockdown when you can't actually go into a shop to try them out for yourself. Okay, so we're going to start off with a Dior, Miss Dior, Roses and Roses. So I am just dying to have a Dior in my perfume collection. I don't yet have a Dior perfume, but I want one so bad. I feel like I can't call myself a fragrance lover if I don't have at least a Dior in there, but I want to get the right one. So I am trying out stuff. So I like this one because it's pink. I love pink. Pink is one of my favorite colors uh, in the world. So I haven't checked the notes profiles or anything like that. So I'm just going to try it out without knowing what the note profiles are and see how I get on with this. So this is an auto toilet. So I'm expecting it to be very lightly infused. Okay, so I'm going to try you out on here. Atomizer not so good on this sample. Ooh, very, very light, very floaty, floaty, floaty. Delicate, very delicate. I can get the rose, the rose is coming out there. Lovely pink rose, fresh rose in a spring morning with some dew drops on it powdery i'm getting the powderiness coming through but not like heavy baby powder it's very delicate and very feminine as well not too bad so far quite like this i do 
It is, you know, like a, I'm getting the sense of like a, the dew on the on on the rose petals. Mm, yeah, it's not a heavy rose. It's a very light, sprightly, sprightly rose, very springy. I feel like if I'm wearing this, I have a spring in my step and I would probably wear this with my uh, spring shirt dresses, the ones that have got florals on them. I like this. I do like this. It's an auto toilet, so performance wise, it might be a little bit problematic, but I'll have to check if this is available in an auto platform. Okay, so the next one that we're going to try, ooh, what should we go for? Black Opium or Seek? Let's go with Black Opium Neon. So I really liked the Black Opium. The coffee note in it was just mm, bellissima. It was like, a, you know, the gods had descended from Mount Olympus to make me a nice orange flavored, creamy chai latte. I loved it. So I have high expectations for this one. Oh, but sadly, the problem with the black opium was the longevity on me. It, it wasn't more than five hours before it was gone. Right. Black opium neon. Going to try you all the way up here oh okay it's got the same uh signature <laughs> that was very strong <laughs> it's definitely got the same coffee coffee orange blossom note as uh the black opium hmm. there's something else in there some something else that's giving a kick to my nose I can't tell what it is, but there's something else in there that's lifting it up a little bit um, so that the uh, this one isn't quite as heavy. It's got a slight powderiness coming in, a slight powderiness, but I'm definitely getting the coffee, which is what I'm happy about. So I think... Um, this smelled relatively similar to the original one. I don't think it would be necessary to have both of these. I'd have to pick either the neon or the original one. And I think that if the neon lasts longer on me than the original one, then I'd be going with the neon. But I love it. It's pleasant. It's, um, it's nicely pleasant. And it just reminds me of coffee. And for me, coffee is a very uplifting sort of fragrance because I associate that with uh, my mornings when I drink my first cup of coffee and I feel like I'm ready to face the day. Yeah, quite, quite like that. Okay, now let's try a C. Passione, Eau de Parfum by Giorgio Armani. Okay, so this one, the bottle looks interesting. When I went to uh, Debenhams before lockdown, the bottle definitely did catch my eye. Let me just get out of the sun. <laughs> We've got some lovely sun here in England. Um, so it says on here, the new feminine fragrance. I didn't get to try it though, even though I did see the bottle and I was like, mm, okay. Um, but it caught my eye, but not enough that I wanted to try it. So let's try you. I'm going to try you over here. Oh. <laughs> Butterfingers. But I caught it though. I did. <laughs> right. Oh, hello. Hello. Who are you? Very fresh, very sparkly. Uh, Tart, clean opening. There's some citrus in there. Citrus. I have no idea what the nose profile is. Because um, I'm trying to test perfumes without an expectation of certain notes. Because I feel like that always kind of leads me to disappointment sometimes. And I think it's a good thing for me to just get kind of like a blind idea of whether I like something or not using the sample. Um, okay, there's some creaminess coming through. Definitely some white florals. I can't quite detect which white florals. There's a bit of rose in there. A bit of tuberose as well. 
I'm guessing the mus uh, musk, it must have some musk in its base. And perhaps some amber as well. Hmm. Okay, it's not a fruity floral. It's not a gourmand. I'm not getting, I'm not feeling like I want to eat it. And I definitely, I'm more of a gourmand fan more than anything else. I don't like it. Um, yeah, si passione. I don't think you're for me. I really don't think that you're for me. But I will try it um, on a day because sometimes even if it's not love at first sniff, it might turn out to be uh, something that might be worth long-term relationship. So, these ones are my samples uh, that I got. Um, out of the three, okay, it's difficult for me to pick which one I liked better. I quite enjoyed the black neon, uh, sorry, black opium neon, but I really loved this. I thought that this was quite nice, uh, although my problem with it might be the longevity versus how much it costs because... Uh, I'm not going to pay a lot of money for a perfume that doesn't last long on me. That just that doesn't feel good for me to do. So I won't uh, do that much as I like a perfume. And there's literally thousands of perfumes out there. You know, I'm happy to keep on searching for uh, a perfume that will last long and that I can spend the money uh, on. But I quite liked this. Let's let's just check in on them. Hmm, nice and powdery. The orange blossom has become stronger in this one with the black opium and yeah, it's turning a little bit sweeter. But yeah, <laughs> that was my sampling day today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you also had some fun. Uh, do let me know if you've tried any of these. I'm quite keen to find out if there is a similar perfume to this that might be stronger than an auto toilette. I would love to find that. And also let me know what would be a good Dio perfume to get. I must, I simply must have a Dio perfume in my perfume wardrobe. I have decided that it is a must, therefore it is a must. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hit that uh, subscribe button, like, comment, turn on your notification bells and all of those wonderful, awesome things. And until I see you next time, guys, take care. Bye.